everyone, welcome to another Excel chat video walkthrough. I am your host, Kevin Kelly, and today we're going to be talking about how to use some ifs in Excel. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the main difference between some if and some ifs is that some ifs, uh, you can evaluate multiple conditions. And in our Excel chat article, it kind of talks about the conditions that you can evaluate and the different things that you can do with some ifs as opposed to the singular sum if. Um, and we're going to go through some examples real quick here. So uh, as you can see in my Excel spreadsheet, I have a list of drinks and then I have the states in which those drinks are sold. And then I have the sales from each of those drink and state combinations. Um, I've referenced pina colada here equals A2 and then I have the state of Alabama there. And basically what I want to do here is I wanted to add up all of the uh, sales based on my criteria, which are pina colada drink in the state of Alabama. So the way that we're going to do that is with some, some ifs, and then we're going to reference, okay, our sum range is going to be all of these sales. That's where we're getting our sum from. And now our first criteria range is going to be the drinks. And then our criteria for that is going to be pina colada. So we're just going to reference that cell. Then we're going to do our next criteria range, which is the state. And then our criteria is Alabama. We're just going to select that cell. Close parentheses, enter. So as you can see, I was able to get 4,805. Excel has done all of the work for me and said, okay, when pina colada is being sold in Alabama, what's our sales total? How, how many sales do we get from that? And we got 4,805. Um, as you can see here, it probably just added up this one and then this one, because I believe those are the only two that are pina colada in Alabama. Um, but that's how you use some ifs. We had two criteria there and we're able to get the uh, total sales uh, for the drinks for, for pina colada in Alabama uh, super quickly, super easy. Um, going on to the next, next example, we're going to be talking a little bit about a different scenario in which uh, we have a new criteria, which is we're, we're going to see what sales are over a certain amount. So uh, let me walk you through this one. So in this case, we're going to say, okay, sales over $3,000. So sales over $3,000 and the state of Alabama, those are our criteria. So we're going to say, okay, let's get our sales total. So equals some ifs and see some range right here, just like last time. Then it wants our criteria range, which is going to be the state. And we can just put, we can reference our cell or we can even just go, um, since it's super short, AL, close quotation marks, comma, our range here, which is going to be sales again, um, 16. So our range, again, we're referencing the same column um, for sales because we're saying over 3,000. So we have to reference that one again. And then we're going to go comma, quotation mark, greater than 3,000. And we could reference the cell um, again, but it's just um, easy to put it in quotation marks. Okay. So as you can see here, um, formula worked. Our sales total is $11,250. So of all sales over $3,000 uh, in the great state of Alabama, let's add all those up together and see what our sales total is. And that is just what Excel has done for us because we told it to. Now you can use some ifs in a variety of ways. Um, you can use tons of criteria, four, five, six, you name it. Um, and then it'll do all the work for you. And you can use, you know, uh, average if as well, and sum if and count if. Uh, it's just a great tool for dissecting data and, and really getting what you need at the end of the day. So with that being said, um, we thank you for tuning into this video and we hope that you join us next time. Still have questions? Click to get help from a live Excel expert at Excel Chat.